It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from Wadworth Brewery down in Wiltshire and it's a bottle of their 6X Gold, a gluten-free beer coming in at 4.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Woohoo! Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. The beer has produced quite a big three finger white head. I was a bit aggressive with the pour, um, but I wanted to produce this head just to show you. I've had this beer before, uh, just a couple of times on, on cask, and I wanted to show you this lovely white head that gets produced when you pour the beer. It's got, it's got a very nice, clear look to the beer, good levels of carbonation, gold, clear golden beer in, in the color. Lovely to look at. It's like one of the, you could use that as a fire, one of the, the fireplace YouTube videos where you just hold that there for a couple of minutes. I think it makes you chill out and calm. But anyway, we're not here to chill out and calm, we're here to drink beer. Let's get the aroma on this beer then. One of my favorite hops is Cascade. And whenever it's put into a beer, it just shines for me. It, it just kind of pulls through and I recognise it straight away. It was one of the first hops that I, I, I learned to recognise drinking craft beer on the channel. And that was certainly the Cascades hop. So I can get it straight away. And I, I used to describe it as grapefruit when my palate was still in the kind of learning process. It is still in the learning process. There's, there's lots of styles coming out all the time that... that You'll never kind of, you'll never be a complete beer genius in my eyes. You'll, there's always room to learn. But I definitely get some piney grapefruity aroma from, the, from, from, this, from this beer. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's really nice. It's really nice. Um, but I'm going to be honest with you straight away. Um, I don't suffer from the gluten free thing. I, I, there's a term for it. There's a name for it. it it's an allergy, I think, to, to malt and grain, um, which is a bit of a shame, is a bit of a shame. I like 6X. I think they should produce a version of this 6X Gold as a standard version of beer without being gluten free. Of course, produce the gluten free version for the people who, who, who desire a drink and, and cannot handle the, 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 the grain. I totally understand that, by the way. If you are, if you've tuned into this review, um, as one of them people, um, I totally understand your situation, that you probably do want a beer. Uh, but this is a message to, to Wadworth, in that 6X is a, is a pretty good beer. Um, this gold version with some American hops in, in a, with a malt base, I think would be absolutely superb. Um, to be honest, I think Maybe you've called it gold now, so it's very difficult to kind of change in a way. Maybe call it 6X Golden Ale with the American hops, which I think would be absolutely blooming superb. And leave this as the regular 6X Gold gluten-free version at 4.5% ABV. I'm not a fan of gluten-free beer. Lots of people have tried it, and I have no reason to, to, to... 
I have no reason to buy it and I have no reason to have to buy it. And I just find that, and, and, and again, if you tuned into this review as somebody with, with a malt and, and, and grain allergy, then I apologize. But I've tried gluten-free bread, I can't eat it. I've tried lots of gluten-free beer, I can't really drink it. Um, and I really feel sorry for you because it, it's so far away from being a beer in my eyes. Um, how can you explain it? It's just that the replacement of the malt, uh, whatever it is that, that gets used, I, I'm not really sure to be honest. The replacement isn't great. It, I'm not sure if they put the ingredients here. Oh, it, it contains malted barley. I don't know what, okay, I don't really know what the allergy is. I, I, not the, only because it's wheat. I think it's wheat. There's the badge. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, I'm, I'm not qualified enough to, I'm not experienced enough to talk about gluten-free stuff because I've never had to research it. I've never had to look at it. But, um... Would I buy this if I had a gluten problem? Not a problem, but a, I'm digging myself a big grave here, aren't I? Um, if I was allergic to gluten, would I buy this beer? Probably not. I'd probably buy a lemonade or a, or a lime and soda or something like that. I, I just couldn't see myself enjoying this beer enough to be able to buy it and, and drink it in company. It's just, it's just my way. It's just, just the way it is. Um, but certainly, 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 Wadworth 6X regular version be fantastic. Rating. <sighs> Brewdog have tried it. Many other brewers have tried it. I just don't like gluten-free beer. But for somebody who has no choice, then I suppose there's a beer out there for you. I'm not even sure I should rate it. I'm not even sure I, I, I have the means to rate it because I don't know what it's like not to be able to put some toast in the toaster and, or, and enjoy it. and. and and to be able to just grab a beer and drink it. I've got that luxury, really. So, you know, unless you're in that position to not be able to try it, then then you don't really know. You don't, you don't know what it's like for the person. So I'm not going to rate this one, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to say that it's not for me. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.